in July, lawmakers signed House Bill 978 into law, confusing everyone from parents to prosecutors. Now, the bill seems to state that on a highway divided by a median or turn lane, cars on the opposite side of the road do not need to stop when approaching a bus. Tonight, we have new information on the topic that we first set out to verify about two weeks ago. Our sources for the final word on who has to stop and who doesn't making Bibb Solicitor General Rebecca Greist and a statement from Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr. Chelsea Bineford joins us live on Gray Highway. Yeah, Frank and Murray, Gray Highway is one of those roads that's affected by House Bill 978. That's because it's a five lane highway with a turning lane in the middle. And if cars don't have to stop when approaching a loading bus on this type of road, well, then the parents I spoke to today say that's a safety hazard for their children. Lines 32 and 33, there is um, language that makes what has always been very a very clear part of the law ambiguous. That's making Bibb Solicitor General Rebecca Greist talking about House Bill 978 earlier this month. Now we've muddied the waters. The bill states the driver of a vehicle upon a highway with separate roadways or a divided highway, including but not limited to a highway divided by a turn lane, need not stop upon meeting or passing a school bus which is on a different roadway or on another half of a divided highway or upon a controlled access highway when the school bus is stopped in a loading zone, which is part of or adjacent to such highway and where pedestrians are not permitted to cross the roadway. Let's just let the kids get on and off the bus at a, you know, in a safety, you know, way. And I think that would be the best, you know, reality for everybody. Josh Hogan says sometimes his kids ride the bus and he thinks cars should always have to stop near a loading school bus, no matter how big or small the road, which Georgia law required prior to the introduction of House Bill 978. It's all for the kids, not about you not about anybody else. It's all about the kids trying to get to school and get a good education. So we set out to verify the true meaning of the new wording. On Monday, Georgia Attorney General Chris Carr released his opinion, verifying that Georgia law does not require a vehicle traveling on a three or five lane road divided by a center turn lane to stop for a school bus. I think they should change the law back immediately. On Tuesday, state school superintendent Richard Woods also released a statement saying in part that this change in law does not reflect best practices to ensure student safety and could endanger Georgia's kids as they travel to and from school. Greist agrees. This is something that I think we're going to see a very strong push early on to quickly repair the statute and make it what it said before. And legislative session starts back in January. There's certainly sure to be a lot of discussion about this bill. Frank and Lori, back to you in the studio. Thank you, Chelsea. And for the full statements from the Georgia Attorney General and State Superintendent, School Superintendent, you can visit our website, 13WMAZ.com. We'll have those posted for you shortly.